Today I am not on Pakefield Beach after shrimps, but inland after a creature that has terrorised our ponds, lakes and rivers, the crayfish. Preyed upon by many mammals and birds, the American signals are now present in over 80% of our waterways. Our native white-clawed crayfish doesn't stand a chance. Intent on harvesting some wild rabbit and locally, I had to stay legal and adhere to the Environment Agency's policy of registration and tagging. I wanted to ensure my traps were legal and that we didn't harm any of the local otters. Once my tag come through, I'm not just a name, I'm also a number, a crayfish trapper. How these crayfish entered the pond is anyone's guess. On the feet of wildfowl, a heron maybe, or they could have travelled across land. Once the traps were entered, I went off rabbiting and then come back systematically every couple of hours to empty these traps. And after a day, we caught a few hundred. How the traps work is simple. You bait inside, you have a funnel where the crayfish comes through and it is unable to go back out again. Once we removed them, we packed them in a cool box with some fresh water and Steve had a recipe for our freshly harvested rabbit and crayfish. A rabbit and crayfish paella. Right, as you can see, here's our crayfish. We caught plenty today and I've actually had to cook them in batches. So this is the last batch and uh, I'm going to put them into some rapidly boiling water, as you can see there. Five minutes, then straight out. Right, well, they've had five minutes now, so I'll uh, just turn this off. Glass is steaming up there. Happy days. As I said, this is the last batch. We're just going to add these to the rest of them that we got today. Right, okay, so they're cool down now, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get these prepped up for the paella. So I'm just going to twist them there, get rid of the head, and then give the body, give the tail a squeeze there, and just peel them all the way back. There we go. And then pull this bit back here, which removes the, uh, the tract, and that's nice and clean. But on some of these, these big crays, they've got some lovely big claws, so I'll, um, I think I'll just put those into the mix as well, and we'll eat those later. Right, well, we're using young rabbits here today. They were really nice and small. They'll cook really quickly, and that'll go well with the dish. So, um, you know, I'm just going to take the back legs off and take the saddles off here, and I should just be using those in this dish. Nice little saddle there. Another nice little bit of saddle there. Right, and for this dish, I'm just gonna take off the, the drumstick, if you like. I'm not gonna use that part of it, so just cut through there and just use the thigh. So that's what I'm using today. Right, well, I've got all the ingredients here that I, um, I'm gonna use today. I've got my, my peeled uh, craze. I've got some beautiful craze there just for a bit of decoration on the top of my paella. I've got my stock, which has been made out of uh, stock out of the crayfish uh, shells, and I've cooked already, or rather poached, my rabbit uh, in that stock. 
so that it's you know just softened up and ready to go. So we'll start. So first of all, hot pan. I think that's getting hot now. A little bit of olive oil. Got a hot pan here now. So I'm going to add uh, some onion and uh, chorizo sausage. Red pepper and some plenty of garlic. I'm just going to give this five minutes to soften up. So this is at about five minutes now, and I'm just going to add my rabbit saddles and just brown those off a little bit. They're not going to take a great deal of cooking, like I say, they're very, very young rabbits. Right, okay, this is starting to colour up now, so I just want to add the next layer of ingredients to this. So I'm going to have uh, a couple of teaspoons of paprika, just uh, over the top there. Just stir that in a little bit. And then I'm going to add some green beans. Tomatoes, plenty of tomatoes. And just to uh, add some wine to that. Lovely job. Plenty of liquid now into this. And let that cook away for 10 minutes. I think I'll just turn it down slightly. And let those beans cook through. Okay, so that's been bubbling away there for about 10 minutes, and uh, I'm just going to add the rice. So I've just added the, the rice, it's uh, Spanish paella rice. And I'm going to add some saffron water, a little bit of saffron. Let's get that all folded in there. Lovely. And then add some of the stock. Now this stock, as I said, this was made with the, uh, the, 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 the cray shells and, uh, and we've actually poached the, uh, the rabbit in that as well. So I think I'll just use half of that. I think I'll, I might use a little bit more later on, we'll see. Okay, we'll just let that bubble away. And I'll let that simmer now for about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll see how we go. Pretty much until the rice is cooked. Right, so this has been uh, bubbling away for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm just going to check the rice and see if that's cooked. Looks pretty good to me. Excellent. Great, great. So now all I've got to do now is stir in my lovely cray tails that have been uh, peeled. And just delicately fold those in into the mixture. Just try and get them in a little bit, but this is almost there now, almost there. And just for a a bit of garnish. I've got these beautiful crays here that I'm just going to put them on the top because I think they look fantastic. So I've got that many. I don't know what to do with them. That'll do and a little bit of parsley over the top for a garnish. And I'm just going to let that stand for five minutes just to warm these crayfish through and then get my guests up here for a glass of wine.